It's time for high school basketball. Atlantic Broadband Cable in cooperation with the South Union Township Supervisors presents the South Union Township Sports Network. Tonight, via tape delay from the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium, it's senior night. The Mustangs of Laurel Highlands will host the Gators of Gateway. Hello, everyone. This is Gary Frank Kowser along with Jerry Dupay, and we welcome you aboard for tonight's WPIAL basketball action. The South Union Township Sports Network coverage is brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring Township Supervisors Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and CUT with Gary Smith and his staff. Once again, Gary Frankhauser on the play-by-play, -play, Jerry DuPay on the camera. We'll be right back with the starting lineups for both squads on senior night here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial advisors of Uniontown. We'd like to wish the Laurel Hines boys basketball team and their coaches on having a successful basketball season. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools, teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team! Go Laurel Highlands Mustangs! This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott. Thanks from the Township Supervisors, Rick Vernon, Jason Scott, and Robert Schiffbauer. Welcome back to the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. As we said, it is senior night here, and the festivities are about to begin, honoring the senior basketball players for the Laurel Highlands Mustangs, the undergraduate members of the squad lining up at midcourt. And we're about to turn it over to PA announcer Mark Santor here for this evening. We want to wish Barry Rosner a good evening and a speedy recovery. And here is Mark Santor with the Senior Night Festivities. Keandre Cook, the first senior to be honored. Keandre is being escorted by his cover, Robin Jenkins, and his name, Gigi Boris. Keandre's activities are high school football and high school basketball. After graduation, Keandre's plans are to earn a business degree from California University of Pennsylvania. Ladies and gentlemen, Keandre Cook. Andre Cook, senior night here at Laurel Highlands. Would you please welcome our next senior, Tyvon Long? Tyvon Long, senior for the Mustangs. 
sister Maria and his cousin Andrew. Ted Mon's school activities include high school basketball. Ted Mon's future plans include to attend Catholic County University of Pennsylvania to play basketball. Ladies and gentlemen, Taiwan Long. Taiwan getting his uh, picture with his family. Always a special night here at Laurel Highland, senior night. Several of the school board members and the principal staff of Laurel Highlands. Timmy Smith now being introduced. Timmy is being escorted by his father, Coach John Smith, his mother, Kristen Smith, his twin sister, Taylor, and his brother, Caden. Timmy's school activities include cross country, track and field, jazz ensemble, symphonic band, and basketball. Timmy is a member of the Penn State 4 Point Club, and he has also received a four-year highest honors student. His future plans include to attend junior college, where he will further his athletic and academic career. Ladies and gentlemen, Timmy Smith. Timmy Smith. Enjoying senior night activities. We're also going to have the senior cheerleaders to be honored here tonight. Kaylee Gallagher, Ashley Over, Morgan Sherbondi, Cameron Simpson, and McKenna Tressler. We'll be seeing them being honored here at senior night. There's Michaela Gallagher. Gallagher, brother of Rodney Gallagher. Next will be Ashley Over. Here comes Morgan Sherbondi.
Morgan Sherbondi and her family. Next up will be Cameron Simpson. Cameron Simpson with her parents. McKenna Tressler, the last senior cheerleader here this evening. Kenna Tressler. Here's our seniors for tonight's senior night here at Laurel Highlands. We'll be back with the starting lineups and more pregame activities. You're watching the South Union Township Sports Network. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access, which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS work with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. 
where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Every person who's been injured, when they come in, has an expectation that their case is important, and it is to us. We take these cases very seriously. So that experience that we have is unique also because we have experience in these communities, in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg, in these court systems. You don't have to go to Pittsburgh to be represented by attorneys who don't know their way around your community. Davis and Davis, Attorneys at Law. Welcome back to the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. Crowd filtering in here for tonight's section action. Section 15A for the Mustangs and the Gateway Gators. Here's your starters for Gateway. Number two, Carlos Parks, a six foot junior guard. Number three, Brendan Edgar, a six foot senior forward. Number 12, Dylan Kane, five foot 10 junior guard. Number 22 is Dylan Carr. He's a five foot seven senior. And number 32, Tui Brown, a junior for Gateway. Those are your starters. We'll be right back with the starters for Laurel Highlands here in the South Union Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zeblu Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zeblu Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zeblu Mahalov and White. back here are your starters for Rick Hogger and the Laurel Highlands Mustangs coming in to tonight's contest five and four in conference ten and six overall trying to pick up another conference win against the uh, Gateway Gators who come in at three and five in the conference and six and nine overall familiar cast of starters for the Mustangs number one Keandre Cook six foot one senior forward number two Rodney Gallagher the six foot freshman guard Number five, Caleb Palumbo, five foot ten, junior guard. Number fifteen, Tyvon Long, the center, six foot four, senior. And number twenty-four, the senior, Timmy Smith, a five foot ten guard. Those are your starters. We'll be right back with the opening tip here on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920. The area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. basketball here on the South Union Township Sports Network. We're just about ready for the national anthem and the introduction of the starting lineups by our PA announcer. Mark Santor, our PA announcer here for this evening. After the National Anthem, please remain standing for the Lower Highlands High School alma mater. And now, will you join us as we honor America? Highlands alma mater. Let's now turn it back to the PA announcer Mark Santor for the starting lineups. First for the visiting Gators of Gateway. Carlos Parks. Junior guard. Brendan Edgar, senior. A junior, number 12, Dylan Kane. Dylan Kane, number 12. A senior, number 22, Dylan Carr. Dylan Carr, number 22. He's a senior. And number 32, Tui Brown. Tui Brown, number 32. Rounds out that starting lineup for Gateway. And now, let's put your hands together for the starting lineup for the Little Highlands 
Mustangs. Starting lineup for the Mustangs. Andre Cook, six foot one senior, celebrating senior night here this evening. Freshman, two, Rodney, Gallagher. Rodney Gallagher, the freshman, leading scorer for the Mustangs, coming in averaging just under 22 points a game. Caleb Palumbo, Jr. Needs some offensive power out of Caleb here this evening. 42 three-pointers for Caleb on the season. Tyvon Long, the senior center. Rely on Tyvon for a lot of rebounding and inside action. Timmy Smith rounding out the starting lineup. Senior Timmy Smith for the Mustangs. Here we go, final instructions by both head coaches as we come out to midcourt. The Mustangs in the home white. We'll be going left to right on your TV screen to start the first half and the Gateway Gators in black will be going right to left. Five on long in the jump circle against number 32, Tui Smith, Tui Brown, I'm sorry. Here we go. Important game for both squads trying to establish playoff positioning here in section one, 5A. Tip around and controlled by Gateway in the front court there by number 12, Dylan Kane. On top now to Carlos Parks, calls out the offense. Mustangs in a man-to-man -man defense to start things here in the first half. Gateway examining the defense. Across to number 22, that's Dylan Carr. Carr working against Palumbo. Down underneath, Brendan Edgar, number three, tries to go in with the hook, gets it to go. <laughs> Gateway draws first blood and comes out in a 1-2-2 two, two zone press. Mustangs already a turnover picked off there by Carlos Parks. He'll throw it away. And that is... Carr being harassed by Palumbo. Gets it across to Parks. Working man-to-man -man offense. Looking for that top screen. Baseline guarded there by Keandre Cook. Got away, got away with the walk now. Block there by Tyvon Long. Gallagher to Timmy Smith. Baseline drive. Try to get it inside. Get it out in front now for the breakaway and score it for Tui Brown. 4 nothing. Back now come the Mustangs trying to find some offense. Palumbo gets it inside to tie Vaughn. Spin move, can't get it up to the hoop, has it knocked away. Back comes Gateway, the early four point lead, three on the way. Out of the rim, no good. Gallagher with the rebound, back quickly with numbers. Foul line jumper, no good. Tip around and out, back to Gateway. Lit on the hoop for the first two minutes for the Mustangs, cannot find the range. Four nothing Gateway. Bring it down now against the Mustang man to man defense. Right wing is Dylan Kane. Gets it back to Parks, drive. Kick it to the corner to Edgar, Edgar. Back out on top. Now reset for Gateway. Parks go into a weave now. Out on top. The Mustangs do not switch, do not um, do switch on the defensive pressure. This is Kane trying to find some movement. Nothing there. Gets it to Parks. Parks, very patient offense now for Gateway. Mustangs cannot score without the ball. Down low, blocked again by Tyvon Long, trying to get it up to the hoop that time was Tui Brown, not successful. Palumbo for three, count it. Caleb Palumbo for three. 
Brings the Mustangs to within one. 4.56 to go here in the first. High pick now. Baseline jumper way off the mark that time by Kane. Some Timmy Smith will bring it ahead. He'll stop and shoot. Off the rim, no good. Good rebound there by Long. Hits it off the defender, number 22, Dylan Carr. Good hustle there by Keandre Cook. I stand corrected. Keandre with the hustle. On top to Palumbo. Corner to Gallagher. He'll try to the three. Got it. Rodney Gallagher for three. Puts the Mustangs on top. Six to four, their first lead. Back comes Parks for Gateway. He's trying to do it himself. Go to the hoop with the runner. Got it. One-handed hook for Parks. Ties it at six. Mustangs trying to break that zone press, and they do. Timmy Smith gets it to Keandre inside the lane, kicks it back out to Rodney. Palumbo, baseline runner, got it. Good finish there by Caleb Palumbo on the baseline drive. Used the glass perfectly. 8-6 now, Mustangs on top. Trying to get it down low now to Edgar. Kicks it out on top for the three on the way. No good. Box out, unsuccessful. Gateway with another opportunity after the three missed by Dylan Carr. Another three on the way, in and out. This time, Keandre Cook with the rebound. Ahead to Timmy Smith. Kick it back out to Palumbo. Swing it around on top to Keandre. Corner to Timmy Smith. Baseline, nothing there. Now Tyvon. Timmy has it knocked away. Regains possession to Cook for three. In and out, no good. Mustangs fight for the rebound. Got it. Palumbo now in the corner. Couple opportunities on the offensive board by the Mustangs. Gallagher now. Hogger calling out the offense from his coaching box on the near side. Gallagher being guarded man to man there. Timmy Smith will take a three and get it. Smith for three. Mustangs with three three pointers already here in the first. Now with a five point, 11 to six advantage. Parks tries to drive at the elbow, takes a shot, no good. Good block inside again there. Tyvon Long had it, had it taken away by Brown. Regained a possession as Rodney Gallagher will bring it back. He'll stop and fire, that's off the mark short. Looked like he might have got fouled, but no call. Rodney did not complain, so just a little short on that one. Checking in for Gateway, number 24, that's Joseph Katana. Switching sides now is number 22, Dylan Carr. On top to Katana, has it taken away. Palumbo to the hoop with the left, got it. Another fine finish by Colombo. Palumbo, he's got seven here in the first quarter. 13-6, Mustangs on top. Parks trying to find some room on that offensive side. Gives it up to Carr. Carr to Katona. Now inside, that's a travel not called, and now balls out of bounds, back to the Mustangs. Katona having a little bit of a discussion with himself. Gallagher now. Swing it all the way around to Palumbo. He'll try another three, count it. On fire, Caleb Palumbo here in the first with 10 first quarter points. Parks now will try to do it, but Timmy Smith with a good defense there. Now picked up by Keondra, gonna have a foul. Wow. Foul's going to be called on Timmy Smith. That's his first, team first. First foul called with 59 seconds to go here in the first quarter. Mustangs now on top, 16 to six. 
Mustangs drop back now. The sagging man-to-man -man defense. Oh, nice play there. And unable to finish at the hoop was Tui Brown. Back comes the Mustangs. Palumbo again. 12 first quarter points for Palumbo. Quickly back comes Dylan Carr. Gets it at the foul line. Jumper off the rim, no good. Brown with the rebound. Tries to power his way up. Has it swatted away. And I'm not sure about that one. Like a clean foul, and that's going to be called on Tyvon Long. That will send Tui Brown to the line for two. Brown with two points so far here. Left-hander up. No good off the mark. Bagnot will check in for Tyvon. Give him a rest with 26 seconds to go here. Brown with the second one, no good. Keandre Cook with the rebound. He'll bring it ahead himself. Stops at the foul line. Nowhere to go. Gets it to Egnot underneath. Nice pass. Cook to Egnot. Score it. Twenty to six now. Mustangs on top with seven seconds remaining here in the first. Parks. I think unaware of the time, he'll take a long three at the buzzer. Won't go, the Mustangs out in front, 20 to six, here at the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. As we complete the first, we'll be back with second quarter action here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Colon cancer is the second leading cause of cancer deaths. Signs include abdominal pain and rectal bleeding. Colon cancer develops from a degenerating benign growth or polyp. Doctors performing colonoscopy are able to remove precancerous polyps, thus preventing colon cancer. This saves lives, and the American Cancer Society now recommends that everyone have a colonoscopy every 10 years, beginning at age 50. Offer the latest diagnostic testing SWGI, Specialists in Digestive Health. Southwestern Endoscopy Center is a state licensed and Medicare certified facility and emphasizes privacy, comfort, caring, and safety for colonoscopies and upper GI endoscopies. Painless procedures are done with twilight sedation given by a board certified anesthesiologist. The center accepts most insurance plans and is staffed by Drs. Ruth Hart, Calabrese, Stokes, SWGI, specialists in digestive health. Welcome back. As we start the second quarter, Coach Alvin Rogers for Gateway comes out with an entirely new five for start of the second quarter. Number zero, Elgin Oliver. Number five, Richard Stevenson. Number 21, Ryan Gregerson. Let's see who else we have out there. Number 23, William Krompka. Mustangs with their starters except for Egnot, who's in for long. Gets a two egg, not low. Powers his way up and falls to the floor, but doesn't. Nice to, idea, Keandre Cook can't get it to go. Egnaut with another rebound. Gets it to Gallagher. He'll drive to the hoop. Foul, no call. Mustangs again with the rebound. Wow. Lots of opportunities. Cook, I mean, Egnaut powers his way in. Score it. Nick Egnaut. Power move to the hoop. Four opportunities at the hoop that time offensively for the Mustangs. Coach Hogger's got to love that. Out on top now, this is number five, Richard Stevenson. Baseline drive, handoff, knocked away. Still underneath the hoop, nowhere to go. And a timeout call there by Elgin Oliver. As he had nowhere to go, the Mustangs will talk to Coach Hogger. And the Gators will talk to Alvis Rogers. 30-second timeout. We'll step aside for 30 seconds here on the South Union Township Sports Network.
Good luck, Mustangs, from the South Union Township Supervisors, Rick Byrne, Jason Scott, and Bob Schiffbauer. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools, teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team! Go Laurel Highlands Mustangs! This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott. with the gateway possession under their own hoop after the 30-second timeout. Here's the pass inside. Now knocked away again by Keandre Cook out of the hands of Gregerson. To the hoop is Gallagher with the athletic move and finish. 24 to six now, Mustangs on top. Staying in that man-to-man -man defense. Oliver tried to go baseline, cut off there nicely by Palumbo. This is Quincy, Germany, and a three-pointer. That was by number five, Rich, Richard Stevenson for three. 24 to nine now, Mustangs on top. This is Keandre Cook on the wing. Palumbo from inside the three-point line. First miss, miss there for Palumbo. Baseline now being guarded by Keandre. To the hoop, can't get it up. Egnot now guarding. Gregerson can't get it up. One more try, three tries. Gregerson finally, no, does not get it to go. Mustangs come out with numbers. Timmy Smith to the hoop, won't go. Good follow there by Keandre. Takes it up and he's fouled. Good hustle by Keandre Cook coming back on the offensive board. Timmy Smith unable to finish but will now send Keandre Cook to the line. Foul there by number 21, Gregerson, his first. Just the first team foul on Gateway, and we're at 5.42 to go here in the second. Cook trying to get it on the offensive side of the ledger. No good. Egnaw getting a hand as he leaves the game for Tyvon Long. Good minutes by Nick Egnaw. Keandre hits a second. Keandre shooting at 69% from the line. Almost a travel there by Oliver. Got a groan from the crowd. Stevenson now on top. Right wing there to Kromka. On top now to Germany. Oh, another almost walk. Stevenson drive to the hoop. Short jumper. Got it. So Stevenson providing some offensive punch with five here in the second for Gateway. Now Rodney Gallagher will survey the situation and spread things out for the Mustangs. Timmy, look underneath, had Tyvon, on, did not get it to him early enough. Now with the running hook. Did not draw iron that time for Tyvon. Another three on the way that time by Germ. I'm sorry, Stevenson did not get the fall. Good pass there. Gallagher, no foul called. Wow. Stolen away though by Palumbo. He can't finish. Keandre gets it back inside. They're letting him play, no doubt about that. And that's an offensive foul called on number zero. Elgin Oliver, good defense there by the Mustangs. That'll be the first foul on Oliver. 
picks up the second team foul on Gateway. All kind of contact down here when Keandre Cook went to the hoop, nothing called. Mustangs will come back with a 25 to 11 lead, 4-12 to go here in the second. Rodney being guarded there by Kromka. Gets his ice screen, he'll stop and shoot at the elbow. That's seven for Gallagher. Kromka now, good, good head fake and score for number 23, William Kromka. Makes it 27 to 13. This is Palumbo back to Gallagher, looking to try to get it inside to tie on, work off that low post. Mustangs need to pick up some movement here. They're kind of standing still right now, but a play has been called now. Here's Tyvon looking back, back door. Pick there for Timmy. Now Tyvon back out to Keandre. Keandre will get it to Rodney. Reset. High screen by Tyvon, but good defense there by Elgin Oliver. But to the hoop now, and a foul going to be called as Rodney Gallagher, the master at drawing the foul as he goes to the hoop, picks that one up on number 23. And that will be Kromka, his first. Send Rodney Gallagher to the line, an 80% free throw shooter so far on the campaign. This is the first. Checking in for the Mustangs, number 32, Jaden Pratt, the sophomore, six foot two sophomore. Seeing some playing time here in the second quarter. We'll give Keandre a break. Rodney with the second will be good. Five and a quarter, eight for the first half by Rodney Gallagher. Slowly bringing it up now is Quincy Germany. On the left side to Stevenson. Top to Oliver, knocked away by Palumbo, but now back comes Ga Gateway. Three on the way, no good that time by Stevenson. Pratt with the rebound. Gallagher, good ball fake, but it's short on the jumper. Germany kicks it out on the left side. Three on the way, no good. Great box out that time by Timmy Smith. Palumbo on left wing. Dribble drive, kick it in the corner to Pratt. He'll try the three off the iron, no good. Mustangs going a little cold here late in the second quarter with a 28 to 13 lead. Down to two minutes. And Keandre will check back in at the next opportunity. Germany on top. Stevenson, dribble drive to the elbow, takes the jumper, no good. Palumbo with the long rebound. Bring it ahead himself, and he's gonna be fouled. Two shot foul, blocking foul, called there on Elgin Oliver. That's his second and will send Caleb Palumbo to the line. Not too many opportunities for Caleb at the line so far, just 14 attempts at the line. Think if he would get to the line a little more often, it would be to the Mustangs benefit as he hits the first. Ty Vaughn will check back in and give Rodney Gallagher a break. Palumbo with the second opportunity has it. Give him 14 first half points. Quickly back comes Gateway. On the left side was Katona who just checked in for Gateway. To the hoop, scoop and a foul. Unable to finish at the hoop was Quincy Germany, but. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial advisors of Uniontown. 
we like to wish the Laurel Hines boys basketball team and their coaches on having a successful basketball season. Centers for Rehab Services, CRS, a part of UPMC and the Center for Sports Medicine, is a proud sponsor of the South Union Township Sports Network and its coverage of area youth sports. Make Centers for Rehab Services your choice for all of your physical and occupational therapy needs. CRS, located at 160 Wayland Smith Drive, provides physical therapy, occupational therapy, work injury programs, and hand therapy. Valuing patient satisfaction is one of their highest priorities. Centers for Rehab Services offers a patient-centered environment where each patient has an individualized treatment plan developed for their specific needs. They are experts in helping you recover from injuries, increase strength, and build endurance. CRS professionals have become highly skilled through a strong commitment to continuing education and advanced certifications to ensure the most cutting edge and cost effective treatment for their patients. Jim Burns, a lifetime Uniontown area resident, is a licensed physical therapist and facility director of the Uniontown location, as well as a field faculty instructor for Duquesne University and for the University of Pittsburgh School of Physical Therapy. He invites you to stop by his state-of-the-art location and discuss your rehabilitation needs. Center for Rehab Services is participating with most insurance plans, including all Highmark products, UPMC Health Plan and Medicare. Available five days a week and offering extended hours for patient convenience. Patients are seen within 24 to 48 hours and walk-ins are always welcome. Patients may also be seen through direct access which does not require a physician's prescription. CRS work with physicians and other health care providers to help you find relief, live your life again, and get you back into the game. For more information, call CRS at 724-437-7500. Where you treat for physical therapy is always your choice, so ask for Centers for Rehab Services. It's your health, it's your choice. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Important for people to know that we represent injured people to the best of our ability and we've been successful doing that. And I don't say that to have people come to see us because we have been successful. I say that because it's true and it's important. Another important aspect is the experience that we have is local experience, experience in the court system in Uniontown, in Washington, in Waynesburg. Davis and Davis. Attorneys at Law. Here we go, second half action at the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium. Possession will be with the Gateway as we start the second half, going left to right here on the second half. Mustangs on top, 30 to 16. Coming out Gateway with the same starting lineup. Controlling out on the left side is number 12 and try to get it inside now. Timmy Smith with the steal on the tip by Gallagher. To the hoop is Gallagher, score it. Rodney Gallagher gets things started here in the second half with a deuce. This is number 22, Dylan Carr. Number 12 is Dylan Kane for Gateway. Now number two, that's Carlos Parks. Starting point guard for the Gators. Gets a high screen there. Tries to drive from the foul line. One-hander no good, but offensive rebound and put back there by Tui Brown. Now the press put on by Gateway. Gallagher gets Timmy. They break it very easily. Timmy inside to Keandre. Double dribble not called. Palumbo to the hoop. Off glass, no good. They're going to be a foul call there on, I believe, Palumbo. Yeah. 
Let's see what the call is. Little extracurricular activity. Caleb Palumbo picks up his first foul. That's a first team foul in Laurel Highlands. 32-18. 6.42 to go here in the third. Just underway here in the second half. Carlos Parks now deliberately working against Timmy. Timmy on the floor. That's going to be out of bounds, so back to Gateway. But great defensive hustle there by Timmy Smith. He Love to see that as a coach, your defenders on the court diving for those loose balls. Parks, double high screen. Picked up there on the switch by Keandre. Three on the way, very short. Going to be dive on with the rebound. He's going to be double teamed there at half court. He gets smacked in the head. No call. Now we're going to have another foul, I believe, on Caleb. Two quick ones on Caleb Palumbo. Thought there was a foul on Keandre as he brought it forward, but on the turnover, Palumbo picks up the foul. This is Parks trying to look inside. Does it get it low? Does get it low? Edgar spin move has it blocked there by Tyvon on the court of floor again. Plum, I'm sorry, Timmy over to Gallagher, gets it back to Timmy Smith. Timmy across to Palumbo, thought about the three, very smartly gets it back out to Timmy. Smith now being guarded there by Carr. Palumbo way out on the left wing. Baseline drive, kick it back to Gallagher for three. Off the rim, no good, rebound pulled down by Number 22, Carr. Get it inside to Parks, runner no good. Good rebound there by Timmy Smith, but no, some contact, no foul call. Gallagher to the hoop by himself, he'll score it. Dynamic drive and finish there by Rodney Gallagher. He has 12 points now, four in the quarter. left wing now right wing is Kane he'll try a long three no good but there for the rebound and a put back again is number 32 Tui Brown two inside buckets for him Mustangs quickly back travel called Keandre could not get his feet to settle and there's going to be wholesale substitutions for Gateway as a new five comes in 34 to 20, Mustangs still with the 14 point advantage with 4.40 to go here in the third quarter. On top there, that was number 11, that's Germany. Three points in the second, now post up low. Left hand won't go, Mustangs can't get the rebound. Finally, Gallagher pulls it out, three on one. Good pass to Timmy, can't get it to finish, wow. Back quickly comes. Number five for Gateway, and that's gonna be called on Rodney, his second. So to the hoop was Stevenson, and he's gonna get two shots. Mustangs with a three on one break, failed to convert the last time down. Coach Hogger showing his displeasure with that. Stevenson at the line, he'll hit the first. Stevenson with five second quarter points and now one for one at the line here in the third. Excellent on the way and good also. So the Mustangs need to clean things up here a little bit. Now just leading by 12 and we're gonna have a timeout called by Laurel Highlands. That's gonna be a 30 second timeout. Coach Hogger, I think saw the same thing that I did. Mustangs a little sloppy so far here in the quarter. Need to shore things up, so we'll keep it right here on a 30 second timeout. Mustangs on top 
34 to 22, and Coach Hogger is imploring his squad to clean things up, eliminate those fouls, and convert on the layups that they had a chance to clean things up, eliminate those fouls, and convert on the layups that they had a chance to put together here in the third, but still with a 34 to 22 lead, trying to maintain that distance between themselves and the Gateway Gators. Important contest here for the Mustangs as they're trying to maintain their status in Section 15A. Coming into tonight's contest with an opportunity to add on to a four, five and four conference record. So there's Timmy, they're gonna try to double him. Gallagher now to the hoop and he's gonna be fouled. So Gallagher has a way of getting to the hoop and picking up those fouls. That's gonna be called on number 21, Gregerson, his second, send Rodney to the line. Rodney one for two in the first half at the line. Showing a lot of concentration and that one in and out, wow. Uncharacteristic for Rodney, 80% foul shooter. Just one for three so far, and he'll hit the second. Mustangs man-to-man -man defense, trying to keep Gateway at bay. Good defense here by Palumbo. He doesn't want to pick up that third foul though. Now posting up low and scoring it again inside this time by zero Elgin Oliver. So brings Gateway to within 11. Get it inside to tie on. Now Keandre at the elbow. On back out on top to Rodney. Has space to the hoop, but will he take it? Step back jumper. Got it. Gallagher. Pushed the defense low and then made the hoop. And now we got a blocking foul. If, that, if that's on Palumbo, that's gonna be his third. And an injury under the hoop now in pain is Elgin Oliver and they're gonna have to tend to him. Let's see what happened. He's gonna be, get up though and walk it off. Coach came out on the court. I think that requires him to go out of the game and I do believe that's the case. So. Elgin Oliver, I mean, he's going to have to have someone from the bench shoot the foul shots, I would think. He's going to try to walk it off. He's going to be out of the game, and now we're going to come back with number two, and that's Carlos Parks is going to shoot the foul shots. So Oliver got the foul, but unable to continue now. It's going to be Parks at the line. It's the first. 37-25. Mustangs on top by 12. 3.08 to go here in the third. As Parks unable to finish the second. And now we're going to have a foul called on Tyvon Long on that rebound. Wow. That's going to be his third. And Coach Harger got a little bit of concern now with Tyvon Long picking up his third. No shot, now that's knocked away by Palumbo. Mustangs with five team fouls here in the third. And Gateway with just one. The tie on will have to take a break with three fouls, bring, bring in Egnaut. Now trying to get it in, they do. Down low and score it. That's number 23, Kromko with a bucket. We now have a 10 point game. Tyvon Long. He has it blocked away. It's gonna be saved and kept in play. Keandre Cook now unable to finish there. Come back quickly are the Gateway Gators. Unable to finish at the hoop that time. Timmy Smith will try three. Got it. Big three-point shot there 
to stem the momentum and bring the lead back up to 13 at 40 to 27. So Timmy hits from three point range. This is Parks trying to go baseline. Now gets it to Kromka on top to Gregerson. That's gonna be way short, but another offensive rebound. Three on the way and score it for Stevenson. So the teams trade threes with two minutes to go here in the third. Back to a 10 point game. Gallagher looking for that high screen. He's gonna stop and take a three. No good, Egnot trying to get to it. Won't be able to get the offensive rebound. Quickly back comes Gateway. On top now is Germany. Gets it on the right wing to Stevenson. Down low again, unable to score, but offensive putback for the third time, and he's gonna be travel call. Wow. Three point blank opportunities there by Kromka, could not get it to go, but now Keandre is on the floor with a possible injury. He's holding his calf as if maybe it's his left knee. He fell to the floor in that battle for those off for those defensive rebounds for the Mustangs, and that's going to mean that he's got to come out of the game. And we hope this is nothing serious for Keandre, as the Mustangs certainly benefit from his athleticism on the court. And we'll take a quick injury break here on the South Union Township Sports Network. It's 40 to 30, Mustangs on top. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad, because people are busy these days, at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. It's a cramp, he just can't get rid of it. Look like both legs. back after Keandre limps off the court, checking in for the Mustangs, Caden Phillips, number 11, as Gateway drops into a 2-3 matchup zone, and they do get the steal and score it that time by Parks. Nice defensive play there out of the timeout. So it cuts this lead to eight. They're gonna do it again, 2-3 matchup zone for Gateway as they approach the uh, Mustang offense. Almost a walk there by Timmy Smith. Double team out on top. Swing it all the way across to Timmy. Phillips now, he got double dribble, he got away with it. Rodney now as a run and jump defense for Gateway, giving the Mustangs a little bit of trouble. Gateway has cut the lead to eight from 14 at the half. And the Mustangs need to find a way to pierce this Run and jump defense. Timmy Smith now will control, get it back to Gallagher with 27 seconds to go here in the third. Mustangs may hold for one now. 18 seconds to go here in the quarter. Gonna be a five second count now 
as Rodney tries to penetrate. Pass inside, stolen away. Back comes Gateway with an opportunity at the buzzer, no good. So Stevenson with the shot at the buzzer, couldn't hit, but Gateway cuts into the lead, now trailing only by eight. 40 to 32 as we go to the fourth quarter here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial advisors of Uniontown. We'd like to wish the Laurel Hines boys basketball team and their coaches on having a successful basketball season. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zebli Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zebli Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zebli Mahalov and White. back with the Mustangs in control of the possession to start the fourth quarter and a eight point tenuous eight point lead and almost another turnover and there it is another turnover the Mustangs give it back no opportunity at the hoop gateway brings it ahead Mustangs now in a man-to-man -man defense again. Stevenson will control on top. Now the Mustangs, I think, have dropped into a 2-3 zone, and they have. So Mustangs will see if the Gateway Gators can pierce a 2 3 almost stolen away. Stevenson for three. In and out, hard luck. Gallagher with the rebound. He'll bring it ahead. Stop at the elbow, shoot no good. Gets his own rebound and puts it back. Rodney Gallagher now with 17 points as we start the fourth quarter. Mustangs now lead by 10, 42-32. Important bucket there to start the fourth for the Mustangs. Out to the hoop, easy hoop there for Kromka. Mustangs unable to defend that play. Back to an eight-point lead. 1-3-1, one, one, I believe now, deployed by Gateway. Three and score it for Palumbo. Caleb, with his first points of the second half, now has 17 himself. Mustangs need to clamp down here on defense. 11-point lead now, 45-34. to 34. Baseline drive, good defense there by Pratt. On the way, three, no good off the mark that time by Oliver. Back come the Mustangs with Gallagher. To the hoop himself, can't get it to go. Rebound pulled down by Brown. There's gonna be an offensive foul call. No bucket on number two, Parks. 
Good defensive position there by the Mustang defender. I believe that was Palumbo. Parks picks up his first, the second team foul on Gateway here in the second half. Palumbo gets it into Gallagher. Rodney across the court to Timmy Smith. It's reset for the Mustangs. Now man-to-man -man defense as Gateway changing defenses each time down the court. Good opportunity here for the Mustangs to use some clock. Gallagher for three. Off the rim, no good. Rebound to Long. Good long rebound for Tyvon. Reset again. Use another 30 seconds here if you're the Mustangs. Up by 11. 5.26 to go on a running clock. Timmy now trying to find someone to get it to. He'll pull it out. Coach Hogger calling out the plays. Rodney can't get it now to Timmy. Inside, nice. And Tyvon Long with the flush and the score brings his crowd to its feet. Tyvon Long, his first two with emphasis. All kind of hops there by Tyvon. And again, easy score, nice play there by Kromka as Gateway quickly quiets the crowd, brings it back to an 11 point lead. 4.36 to go. Palumbo on the right wing, gets it to Gallagher. Gallagher will pull it out, being guarded there by Parks. Good opportunity again for the Mustangs to use clock along with the pick. And a Gallagher with a shot at the foul line, score it. Rodney with 19. Hard shot there, difficult shot for Rodney. Three on the way for Parks, and he'll get re respond with the three to cut it again to a 10-point lead. So Carlos Parks from long range picks up a three-pointer and an eight points for the game. A timeout call by Gateway with four minutes to go here in the fourth quarter. It's a 10-point ball game, 49-39. Mustangs on top here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438-438. 5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company. Many people suffer with chronic loose stool that drastically affects their lifestyle. Possible causes include irritable bowel syndrome, colitis, Crohn's disease, lactose intolerance, celiac sprue, and chronic infections. Using simple tests can find diarrhea's culprit and start helpful treatment. SWGI, specialists in digestive health. The key to success in life is teamwork. On and off the field, in the workplace, in the home, in our schools, teamwork gets it done. The world of competitive sports offers many good things, the most important of which is teamwork. Individual talent may win a few games, but teamwork wins championships. Go team, 
Go Laurel Highlands Mustangs. This positive message has been brought to you and paid for by Jason Scott. Mustangs after the hoop will have the baseline to run on the inbounds play as Gateway will pick up full court man to man. Need to get the ball back in Rodney's hands as they do. Parks now guarding Gallagher. All kind of contact, still no foul called. Double team out here at the top. Pratt will take the elbow jumper. Got it. Jaden Pratt, nice jumper for two. 51-39, Mustangs on top. Stevenson, right wing extended. Drive to the hoop, kick it to the corner. Three on the way, no good. Now rebound pulled down by Pratt. Gets it to Gallagher. Mustangs with numbers. Timmy Smith will try the three. In and out, no good. But there's Pratt, and he's fouled. Strong offensive rebound there by Jaden Pratt. He's fouled by Brown. That's going to be Brown's first team foul number three on the Gators here in the second half. We'll send Jaden Pratt, who just scored that nice jumper from the elbow, to the line for two. Too strong. See Jaden five for seven, now five for eight on the season at the foul line. Must. Thanks. need these opportunities at the foul line coming down the stretch with 320 to go first next shot no good the same substitutions back in Germany for Gateway along with Parks number 23 Kromka Parks to the hoop almost had an opportunity three on the way score at that time again this is number five Stevenson with the three and that will cut it to 51 to 39 as the lights go out here in the gymnasium. Someone leaned against the uh, switch, I believe. 51 to 42, that three-pointer cuts it to a nine-point lead. And the Mustangs now with just a single-digit lead will need to try to control the remainder of this game. The timeout's called by Gateway. We'll take a timeout here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Davis and Davis, helping the injured. If you're injured in an accident, after you address the medical problems, you're going to be faced with numerous questions concerning who's going to pay your medical bills, your property damage, the wages that you might be losing if you can't go to work. These are things that you need counsel for. That your income is protected, that your bills are paid, that your family's taken care of. We've been doing this since 1976. We've helped injured people. We can help you. Davis and Davis, attorneys at law. Here we go, another three-pointer by the Gateway Gators, two in the quarter, two three-pointers in the quarter have brought them to within nine. Mustangs unable to convert on their last attempts at the foul line are gonna be really important as we go down the stretch. It's gonna be Gateway ball, wow. Unable to get it in bounds that time with 3.01 to go and a nine-point lead. Quickly back comes Gateway. Tried to drive that time was Stevenson cut off at the pass. Now Parks trying to go, I'm sorry, Stevenson still with the ball. Get it inside to Kromka, good move, and it's blocked away that time by Pratt. Important defensive play there as Gallagher will bring it ahead, and he is fouled. Once again, Gallagher to the line. 
That's going to be on 23 Kromka, his second. Team foul number four, so still two more fouls to give for Gateway before the Mustangs get into the bonus. So an opportunity for the Mustangs to take time off the clock as Gallagher converts from the line. Now with 20, Palumbo will check out. And checking in will be number 13. That is DeMonte Kiss, the sophomore. For defensive purposes, Gallagher hits them both. Gives him 21, just one point under his average. Oh, wow. Mustangs fought for it among themselves. Tyvon Long with the block that time. Coming out of the pack is Timmy Smith. He gets ridden hard. Gallagher will bring it back. And again, Keandre with, I'm sorry, Tyvon Long with the slam. He has four points, two thundering dunks. We're down to two minutes to go. Pass out of bounds. Unable to catch it there was Edgar going to the hoop and probably should have shot at that time was number 11. And that was Germany. Back into the game for the Mustangs is Palumbo. But their foul shooter's in now. Palumbo will try to handle it himself. Gets it to Rodney. Gallagher. Spin move to the hoop. No good. Rebound by Kiss. Kick it out to Timmy Smith for three. Got it. Timmy Smith for three. The Mustangs add on, make it a 58 to 42 contest with 140 to go. Now they need to run clock. Baseline jumper will roll in for number five, Stevenson. So give him 17 to lead all scores for Gateway. That's the lead to 14 again as the Gators call timeout. They want to talk about it with a minute to go. Mustangs on top by 14. We'll be right back on the South Indian Township Sports Network. At what point did everything change? When did service get taken out of service industries? It's too bad because people are busy these days at life, at work, at play. When it comes to your hard-earned money, you want service, real service, from a person you know and a face you trust. At a bank where changing with the times doesn't mean leaving people behind. We're proud to be a part of your community. We're United Bank, at your service. Creditors calling you day and night? Your debt overwhelms you? Although you may feel that you're in a hopeless situation, Zeblu Mahalov and White can help. We're a full-service local bankruptcy firm that knows what a difficult time this is and what to do to help you get a fresh start. Call Zeblu Mahalov and White today for a free consultation. Your hometown bankruptcy firm. Call us today. Don't borrow more money until you talk to Zeblu Mahalov and White. Here we go with the Mustangs holding on to a 58 to 44 lead late here in the fourth quarter. Got to believe that if Gateway does not get quick steals, they'll be fouling the Mustangs and sending them to the line, especially with two fouls to give and a minute 33 to go. Not much opportunity for them to let the Mustangs run clock. They'll pull it back out. Timmy Smith now. Gets across and stolen away. Stevenson with the steal and the bucket. Wow. Not what the Mustangs were looking for there. And now we have a, another timeout called. That will be a final timeout, I believe, for Gateway as they cut it to 12. Need to be strong with the ball if your Mustangs make the sure pass. This will be a 30-second timeout and be the final timeout for Gateway. The Mustangs hanging on now to a 58 to 46 12-point lead. As the clock is in favor of the Mustangs, but again, 
Gateway able to score without fouling the Mustangs. Give them credit on the hustle defense, but with just over a minute to go here in the fourth, Coach Auger is imploring his squad to be strong with the ball. No need to make any crazy passes. Make the sure pass, make them foul you, and get to the line and make the foul shots. So here we go, Gallagher will have the inbounds pass with a minute 16 to go. He has the ability to run the baseline, gets it to Palumbo, Palumbo now. And he is fouled. That's gonna be on number 23, Krompka on his third. And that's gonna send Palumbo to the line. Caleb two for two so far. No, I'm sorry, it's still not one and one. That's right, they had two fouls to give. So this is Rodney. They got a foul with a minute 10 to go now. Mustangs will use clock. Gallagher, back door to Palumbo. He can't score and he's hammered. That's gonna be an intentional foul called. Foul's gonna be called on number 33, Edgar, and that's gonna be an intentional foul. It's gonna be two shut tackled him as he went in. That's going to clear the lane. It's going to two shots and the ball for the Mustangs. So Palumbo will go to the line. Now, 59 seconds remaining. Official felt that that was a, an excessive foul and will give Palumbo two shots and the Mustangs the ball at the point of the foul. Sometimes a little tougher to shoot fouls when there's nobody on the line. And Caleb misses the first. Second opportunity, he'll get that one. And now it's gonna be out of bounds for the Mustangs on the baseline. I'm sorry, that was the uh, intentional two shot foul and now we're gonna have the, wait a minute. I don't, I'm not sure they understand how this worked here. Two shot foul, and now it's gonna be out of bounds. I think that's correct. They did not, did not make that call correct to begin with. Little confusion there in my days as a referee coming back to me. I knew that that had to be out of bounds on the intentional foul. So it's two shots and the ball. And it's the 32nd timeout called by Coach Hogger. Now under a minute to go, Mustangs on top by 13. We'll be back on the South Union Township Sports Network. Turn to the experts. Fayette Furnace Company Incorporated, serving the Tri-County area since 1920, the area's oldest and most reliable heating and cooling contractor, specializing in carrier equipment. Employee owned and operated, choosing Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier not only gives you over 200 years of experience, but gives you the experts to help you solve your home's comfort needs. And call Fayette Furnace Company and Carrier to solve your home comfort needs today. Call 724-438 5400 or look up Fayette Furnace Company on the web at FayetteFurnaceCompany.com. Turn to the experts, almost 100 years of serving the Tri-County area. For more information, call Mike at 724-438-5400. That's 724-438-5400 for Fayette Furnace Company.
Here we go, Mustangs with the possession, 59 seconds to go in a 13-point lead. Still a lot of time left on the clock. Mustangs get it in. Looking to try to foul Timmy Smith. They do not get it to Gallagher. That's the man they want to have it, and that's going to be a holding call foul. That's going to be on number 11. They do not want to foul Gallagher. That's on Germany, his first, and now the Mustangs are in the one and one. So Gallagher to the line with 50 seconds to go as Pratt will check in defensively for the Mustangs. <laughs> Caleb Palumbo with 18 points tonight. Stellar performance by him as Gallagher will go the all-important front end of the one and one. He hits. Now with 22. Next one on the way and good also. Eight points in the quarter for Gallagher. To the hoop blocked by Tyvon. Kiss with the rebound, he's gonna be fouled. Nice play again there by Tyvon Long as defensively, he's a force inside and that's gonna put the DeMonte Kiss at the line this time with 42 seconds remaining. This last minute of the game will take forever, no doubt, as Gateway will need to foul. And that's gonna defensively come in is Egnaut. Mustangs now up by 15. Kiss with the shot and a bucket. Gets his first points of the ball game. Demonte, 100% at the line. Four for four, I probably just put the eyes on him. Nope. Six for six on the season for Demonte at the line. Parks thought about the stop three, but it's gonna be one-on-one -on -one action here to the hoop and he's gonna be fouled. That's really not what the Mustangs want. That's gonna be on Rodney, his third and out of bounds to Gateway. They are not in the bonus. One more foul before they get to the bonus. Now with just 29 seconds to go and the Mustangs up by 17, three on the way off the rim, no good. Egnaut fighting for the rebound, he'll have it. Threw it behind the backboard and hit the wire. So it's gonna be back out of bounds to Gateway. Nick would have been better off just to hold on to that until he had the opportunity to get fouled. Checking in for the Mustangs is Franzek for Timmy Smith. Timmy with the uh, nice ball game also. Gateway trying to finish strong, a, a two-pointer by Kromka. He has six and a quarter, 12 for the game. Still 15 seconds to go. Mustangs will take a timeout, unable to get it in bounds with 12 seconds to go. Mustangs will regroup with Coach Hogger to try to get the ball in bounds. We'll keep it right here. Mustangs on top, 63 to 48. With a win here this evening, the Mustangs will improve to six and four in conference and 11 and six overall and hold on to that all-important third and fourth position in the conference for playoff opportunities. Mustangs with a crosstown rivalry game tomorrow night against Uniontown, non-conference game, but still means a lot if you're the Mustangs and need a good showing against the Uniontown Red Raiders, not only for pride but for consideration in the event that they do make the playoffs for seeding. Any kind of a performance against a strong team like the Uniontown Red Raiders would bode well for the Mustangs. So timeout about to be completed and we will be ready for action with 12.7 seconds remaining. Kiss. Looking, looking, looking. Gets it in now to Pratt. Pratt throws it in the middle of the court. There's a Gateway Gators, and they're going to score again. This time it's Parks to cut the lead to 13. 
Got it in now, and a foul called on number 11. That's Germany, and will give an opportunity at the line to Caden Phillips, the junior forward for the Mustangs. Caden also 100% at the line, two for two. Just one second remaining. So Caden will have an opportunity to add to the Mustang lead. He does not. And long throw by Kromka to end the game as the Mustangs come out victorious 63 to 50. We'll be back to wrap things up and give you the final statistics here on the South Union Township Sports Network. Smith, Lewis, and Chess, financial advisors of Uniontown. We'd like to wish the Laurel Hines boys basketball team and their coaches on having a successful basketball season. Welcome back to the Harold Horse Taylor Memorial Gymnasium as the Mustangs of Laurel Highlands come out victorious 63 to 50 over the Gateway Gators, an important section game here at home for the Mustangs. Mustangs improve their conference record to six and four and overall to 11 and six with the uh, Gators dropping to three and six in conference and six and 10 overall. Scoring four Gateway, six points in the first quarter, 10 in the second, 16 in the third where they made a good comeback and 18 in the fourth for their total of 50. Elgin Oliver with two points. Carlos Parks with 10 points. Richard Stevenson off the bench for 17 to lead Gateway. Quincy Germany with three, all at the foul line. William Kromka, strong game with 12 points. Mostly inside action for William Kromka. And rounding out the scoring for Gateway, Tui Brown with six points. They were seven for 10 from the line and their total of 50 points. For the Mustangs, 20 points in the first, went out to a 20 to six lead, held that 14 point lead at halftime with another 10 points, making it 30 to 16. Only led by eight after the third, 40 to 32, but come up with 23 big points in the fourth quarter to pull out the 63 to 50 victory. Scoring for the Mustangs, Keandre Cook with one, one for two from the line. Rodney Gallagher, one point above his average at 23 points for Rodney. 18 for Caleb Palumbo. Beautiful game by Caleb shooting wise. 14 in the first half for Caleb. Two points for DeMonte Kiss, two for two from the line late in the game. Tyvon Long, two thundering dunks for his four points. Nick Egnott, quality minutes for Nick with four points. Timmy Smith, strong game with three three pointers for his nine points. Jaden Pratt, coming in with two in the fourth quarter. Mustangs 12 for 16 from the line and their total of 63 points. So that'll do it here for the South Union Township Sports Network. This game has been brought to you as a joint cooperative venture featuring the supervisors, Bob Schiffbauer, Rick Vernon, and Jason Scott, Atlantic Broadband Cable, Armstrong Cable, and our friends at CUTV, Gary Smith and his staff. Gary Frank Hauser on the play-by-play, -play. Jerry Dupay, Fine work on the camera. Another South Union Township Sports Network presentation. Our final once again, Laurel Highland 63, Gateway 50. Good night, everyone.